Family Farm Guy here with a new mod test for Tuesday, November the 8th. And this is the Shampo uh, HR46 pack by HR Forst und Frusenbrau. Uh 36.08 megabytes to download. It uh, It is a pack of five uh, forest, well, th four forestry machines and a very interesting little unit here that looks like it's bit well obviously based on these machines however uh, it doesn't have a forestry attachment it has a three-point link on the front and the rear of the vehicle and also this little adapter that's come with this pack very interesting um pack here of items uh, so first of all where would he where do we find all these crazy things uh, first of all we'll go into forestry machines and that's where we're going to find three of the five or six items actually and they are all going to have pretty much identically the same uh, options although the only differences I can see are their size and how many wheels basically that's what it is so we have the four wheel option here we have the six wheel and the eight wheel right so uh, the the horsepowers are all the same everything the weight is different but everything else seems the same. Uh, slot counts range from 13 to 15 slots for them. So let's go into the largest one here. Engine is the 175 or 280 horsepower. Uh, we have Trelleborg, Nokian, Michelin, Olaf's fours, and back to Trelleborg. We have a few choices in there. Nokian is, is what it is. Michelin is the way it is and the pro uh the olaf's fours um have a, a few options as you can see there so um, choose what you like uh protection and beacon yes and then we have a uh, beacon design several beacon designs of your whatever one you fancy main color is the body of the vehicle and of course there is several choices uh, and some kind of uh, bright ones and some neat ones and some toothpastey ones <laughs> uh, harvester head color we're gonna make that yellow so you can see that particular yellow piece there hose color you can choose the hose color that is oh let's make that gray or white or yellow or green yeah green uh host color two is uh the other one will make it blue yeah pink yeah and then a rim color you get to choose all these rim colors uh how yeah there we go like so and no license plates so that ladies and gentlemen is the same choices for all of them uh, they're all exactly the same for the choices I'm not going to go through all of those now what about this fellow here uh, where is that found because that wasn't there well I do believe if I recall and yes indeed here it is in under small tractors that's the HR 46 multi track 280 horsepower 180 liters of fuel 27 miles per hour and uh as with the others uh except for this clear claw version you have the standard or the um for bales nice uh engine again uh, the 175 or 280 wheel brands all the same there and uh oh we do have some choices in the wheels with this one trailerberg nokian we have a few choices michelin we have some choices olas fours we have a few quite a number of different choices and back to trailerberg of course 
choices there. Beacon protection beacon is the same. Main colors are all the same there, of course. Claw color is going to be the claw color. And rim colors, we'll choose that one. And that's your choices for this one. It is basically like you like I said, like you can see. Uh, the same design as the four-wheeled um, tree harvester version. Now, moving on, as you can see it in there, this little fella, this, I do believe, for me anyways, is the star of the show. And if we go back into small tractors and take a gander at that, as you can see, as I said, uh, it has three point links on the front and rear. Now, of course, the engine setup is the 280 or the 175. Wheel brands are the same as the four wheeled version that I just shown. So we won't go through all of that. Protection again is the same there. And colors, of course, are um, the rim and main color only and this one does have a license plate option right okay where do we find the adapter that is excellent question and i do believe it's going to be down in miscellaneous there it is the multi adapter twelve hundred dollars for this incompatible attachments can now be attached now what is this? What does it do? We have color options, all of them. Right? And so let's talk about that first because we have it here. And we'll hop into this little fella. Well, let's get our help window on uh, and start it up. There we go. So. Uh, as for options on this vehicle, we have L1 uh, Pendulum Lock. That is for the tree harvester. It's kind of carried over to here, I do believe. Uh, let's unhook that for the moment. So all we have, we don't have, basically, we don't have any controls. It is uh, the lights. Lights are very bright. No rear, uh, no rear facing lights. We have reverse lights, uh, signal lights, yes. Right and left signal lights. As you can see, there's a PTO on the rear. So really what this is, it is a articulating small tractor, right? That's really what it is. It is a small tractor with a PTO or a PTO and PTO and three point link on the front and the rear. And with the adapter, so let's go hook up this adapter. What this adapter will do, it is uh, hooks up to a three point link, as you can see here, uh, with the L1 and up and down on your right stick and left and right on your right stick, you can adjust the angle of that. So as you can see, it's very maneuverable. Now, what does it hook up to? It hooks up to uh, front loader equipment and skid steer equipment, both of them, yes. So this is a skid steer attacher and you can see now how this might be quite useful as that is the skid steer uh, stump grinder, which will go along quite uh, nicely And if we go over here, there we go. We can adjust that and we could very easily grind some stumps if we needed to. Now, the other attacher is from a front loader. So any front loader attacher item will hook up to this. And as you can see, I have a fork, front, uh, a uh, bale fork from a front lifter, front loader, sorry, front loader not a wheel loader front loaders so to uh to um to illustrate front loader tools any of these tools in here will hook up to that skid steer loader tools any tools under skid steer loaders 
will hook up to this. So no need to change it around anything either or. They both will hook up to that adapter. Very nice. Right. Um, so let's put that aside for one moment. Let's talk about these for a minute. These are all tree harvester machines as you can see. They all work just like every other tree harvester machine that we have in the in the in the game <clears throat> uh, the controls are all exactly like all the other controls that um, that this modder has made the differences are um, <clears throat> the size and the wheel amounts of wheel now this one's just a slightly little different uh, let's keep it running here uh, however, it does still operate just like the others, except instead of a tree harvester um, attachment, it is a grabber. So uh, let's see here. R1 and right stick up and down. We'll move that. L1 and right stick left and right. Left and right. There we go. Left and right. And up and down. Move that in. L1 and R1, right and left. Uh, swivels that and up and down grabs that right all right so and that's it uh pendulum pendulum lock i do believe is hmm not sure what that uh it doesn't seem to affect this one But, um, yeah. Pick up uh, whatever you want with it, really, as a matter of fact. Um, and let's see here. Yes, they all have... Oh, no, that's just hitch. Hitch, hitch, hitch. This one, three-point link. Very interesting. Yes, indeed. So... Theoretically, just throwing it out there, you could hook up <clears throat> a baler to the back of this and then use this to collect your bales and load them onto a bale trailer, loading trailer, just as an example. Now, one other thing that, uh, that this I thought of, well, not I didn't think of, <clears throat> this is one of the pictures in the description of this mod pack here and... If we go to up here and over here, I have this fellow working away with some mowers and doing an excellently fine job of it, I might add, uh, without any problems, actually. And even he's gotten kind of a little mixed. I've, I've left these ends like this because of the um, telephone poles and He's had a little bit of an issue with it, but he has carried on. Uh, he has figured out a way around it. And um, as you can see, we're gonna, we got him at the right time here. He is turning around. And yes, there's a pole there. And he has managed to maneuver around and, uh, and do quite a fine job there of turning around in that spot so there you have it um, as I said I think this particular piece of this pack is the star of the show um, very unique very kind of neat I like it um, it's not surprising we have a um, forestry pack come out just before the uh, new DLC but uh, this this, um, I think some of you might really have a good time with. Um, and there it is. Uh, let's just, there we go. So that pretty much, I'm not going to demonstrate the wood harvesters, tree harvesters. They're, like I said, they're all the same as every other tree harvester operates. Uh, what's really interesting is this piece here. So, and the adapter. And there it is. That's the Sampo HR46 pack by HR Frost Forst und Frusenbrau 36.08 megabytes to download and uh, 
from varying from 13 to 15 slots only so not too bad on the slot count either uh thank you for watching i'm Looney farm guy and remember it's only a game so till next time bye for now